All right, guys, welcome back to Ark Survivors of Old Beginner's Guide. And today we're going to be doing three things. Well, what I call the three basic terms. Now, the reason I call them this is because they will help you in terms of progressing in Ark and making life easier for survivability, gathering, or feeding, basically. So, the first one I want to talk through is how to tame a dodo. So... The dodo is one of the easiest terms to do in the game, um, but early on, in order to tame one, the quickest way will likely be using a slingshot. So let me just craft one of them, and a slingshot it can be used with simply stone. Now I know this sounds like way too easy, but allow me to show you. You hit the dodo with a slingshot, It'll take a few attempts, you may even kill it if you're not careful. I mean I think of it me any of his dead. Yep, see, so this is the problem with the slingshot is it will kill sometimes. So if you want to wait a little bit later on, what you will get is a bowler that will come in handy. I'll show you that shortly. So level ten, you will get a crossbow and the bow and the arrows. Uh, but the slingshot unlocks at level five, so that's nice and early. But like I said, you do risk killing anything that you use it with. Whereas a bow and arrow, using I think you get trank darts at level twenty one. So that's the only issue with the bow is at level twenty one you'll get the trank darts. Now. Obviously that is quite a little bit on, but you will find taming things so much easier. So allow me to show you. So I want to craft a bow, and we want to craft some trank arrows. In order to craft the trank arrows as well, you're going to need narcotics. Um, so again, that's where the last episode comes in with the mortar and pestle. Let me just... Oh, hang on. I want to put the bow on my... Three, and there we go. So now if I use this bow, as you will see, that's one shot, and he is down. So what do you do once the dodo is unconscious? Well, as you can see, there is a torpidity bar there, which is his unconscious level, and that drops as you're taming it. But in order to tame the dodo, you're actually going to need... Let me use my torch. This is what the torch is handy for, guys, that we crafted in the first episode. So this is what you're going to need berries for. So berries aren't just essential for feeding yourself. They're essential for taming herbivores, which a dodo is a herbivore. You put the major berry in its inventory, and as you can see, it is eating the berries, and we have tamed it. I'm going to call him Dex. Her Dex. No, that's not right, is it? Yeah, Dex. Fits suit. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and you can actually pick up a dodo. Because they're so small. Now, since this is a female dodo, she will actually produce eggs. Let me just put her inside the base where she's safe. There we go. So yeah, as I mentioned, she will sit there, and you can put them on like different behaviors. You can make them follow you. Uh, you can change the name. I put them on passive personally, just because. Well. Otherwise they'll attack something and then die. But the other thing that dinosaurs are good for is you can put meat and berries on them and they will preserve it. Now the second dinosaur I'm going to tell you about how to tame is a dilosaur. Now I don't think we'll be able to find one. So we'll have to pass on that. But it is an early aggressive dino. Easy to kill but also easy to tame. And if you do manage to tame it, you will actually get an early defensive dino that will actually attack things for you. So that is why I recommend taming one of them. But what we are going to do is we're going to find what I call one of the best mobile early dinosaurs to tame. Let me just have a scout around. I know there's one around here somewhere. Because I saw it earlier. Where are you? Oh, had a bit of a glitchy there. That's a text stego. We don't want to be taming that just yet. We're not ready. Oh, nope, man. We definitely don't want to be touching that. 
That, guys, is a beehive, and if we touch that, we will get hunted by her drones and die. Now, Ankylo are pretty easy to tame, as are turtles, but at this rate, stage in the game, you don't really want to be looking to tame them, because as much as they can help you defend your base, they're really, really slow, is the only way to put it. Uh, ah, there it is. So, there we are. This is what a parasaur is called. It's only level 20, but it will help you in terms of getting around. Now, the way to tame one of these is you're going to need some of these bowlers. And other than that, you need everything that you would for a dodo. The reason you need the bowler, though, is, as you can see, what it will do is it will stop it outrunning you. Because a parasaur can run faster than you, making it hard to catch and getting away from you. Takes three trank arrows at such a low level to actually knock it out. Once you've done that, it's a case, or simple case of going back to your dodo, which you've just put your berries on, and where? there you are. There we go. Just grabbing the berries off him and running over to the parasol. Well, it's knocked out. Where did we put him? Always remember where you knocked out the dinosaur. That is a big mistake I tend to always make and simply throw the berries on him like you would with a dodo and as you can see he is taming up already. Now it would be ideal if I could find Dilo around here but there isn't one so we are going to have to leave that for now. But again a Dilo will allow you to kill things easier, um, gather more meat easier but again if you've got an abundance of dodo around you you shouldn't be finding it that hard to find Harry. Now if I show you his stats, so he's got 500 weight, which is significantly more than you early on in the game. 280 health, yeah, movement speed is actually okay as well, but his health is bad, which is why, again, you don't want to be using these dinos for anything aggressive. It's purely for transportation of anything heavy and keeping your berries, etc. On. Once you are level... Let's have a look. Para, level 9, you can craft the Parasaur Saddle. So let me just grab you one of them. Parasaur saddle craft. Parasaur saddle, there we go. Stick that in. And if you bought Ark um, as the early access, like I did, and um, you can actually put on. Why is it not putting it on? Oh, I think you have to do it that way. So it looks like that, rather than just a standard saddle. So as you can see, it can move a little bit quicker than you can, and not only that but it has a ton more stamina as well. So we're going to put him at the side of the base here. We will put him on... He also has an alert setting, so if there's anything dangerous in the area, it will alert you know. Um, we're going to put him on that. And we'll leave the meat that we've got on him, because as you can see, it extends it by not too much, but a fair bit. And that, guys, is going to be it for this episode. So that was literally how to tame some early dinos. Um, recommended early dinos to tame. Once you've tamed up a parasaur and a dodo and a dilo, the next stage will be to tame a flyer and a trike. Now, reason being is they're the two like massive jumps in terms of progression for Ark. Uh, because a flyer will allow you to travel over to various parts of the map much quicker, gathering other resources that will again allow you to advance further. And the trike will allow you to gather berries at a much more efficient rate in getting you those narcotics to tame dinosaurs much easier. Because certain dinosaurs in the end game, such as the Giga, consume narcotics at such a fast rate that, well, if you're not prepared and you can't craft narcotics quick enough, you're going to struggle. So that's that guys. So I hope you've enjoyed watching as always and in the next episode I think we'll look at some more advanced materials and how to get them and, and those materials are such things as metal and also, let me just have a look, I can't actually think, yeah metal, obsidian, crystal and stuff like that. Um, I can't go into silica pearls because that involves underwater and it is again a much further point in arc where you'll be needing to gather them. So as always, thanks for watching and I will catch you next time.